Hey friends, how are you? Uh, welcome to my kitchen. I'm so glad to be back with you this week. I've got a lot of fun stuff planned for us today. But before we get started, I need you to go grab three things. Go grab your Bible, a piece of paper, and a pencil. And then we'll get started. All right, so men and women, they have been training wild animals like elephants and tigers and even lions. But you, did you know that it is much harder to tame a part of your body? Anybody have any ideas which part of the body? Your tongue. Well, have any of you ever said anything that's gotten you in trouble before? Do you ever say anything and then you feel sorry for it afterwards? Me too. Everyone gets angry, but some of us don't have much self-control when we have these strong feelings. It's it's easy for us to allow our anger to get in the way and to blurt out something that we'll regret later. Well, we're going to turn in our Bibles to the book of James in the New Testament. And we're going to be in James chapter 3, and it's towards the, close to the end of the Bible. We're in James chapter 3, verse 2. We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect, able to keep their whole body in check. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boast. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind, but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. Boys and girls, James said that the tongue is a small thing, but it is the most evil part of the body. James compared the tongue to three things. With a small bit, you can make a horse go where you want. With a small rudder, you can steer a large ship. And with a spark, you can light a forest fire. According to these verses, we must not sin when we get angry. We need to have self-control with what we say. So let me show you what I mean. We're going to do a little experiment this morning. And I've got some supplies here. I've got a clear drinking glass. I've got some, whoa, I've got some liquid detergent. I've got some um, white vinegar, baking soda, some food coloring for fun. I've got some hot water and my tablespoon. All right. Oh, and I've got my baking pan because we're going to make a little bit of a mess today. All right. So I've got my cup right here into this baking pan to catch it when it overflows. And I'm going to start out by pouring hot water into this glass so it's nearly full. There we go. All right, and I've got some food coloring just to make it pretty. One, two, oh, three. All right, and now I'm going to add two tablespoons of baking soda. I bet your mom's got some of this in the pantry at home when she bakes cookies. All right, here we go. One. Here's number two. All right. Well, here comes the fun part. Everybody watch out. 
I'm going to add some white vinegar. Look to see what happens. It's going to bubble up. Whoa, looky there. Oh, that's fun. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Whoa. We're like the water. We represent the water. The baking soda, baking soda is our anger. But the vinegar is our self-control. If we don't get our self-control working properly, it will cause us to say things we regret and cause us to do the wrong thing. Whoa, I had a lot that time. All right, so once the words are out, it is impossible to get those words back. God's plan is always better. We need to stop before we say anything. We need to pray and walk away. We need to practice self-control in our lives. Because sometimes we do not want to be spewing out words that, to people that we will regret later. Maybe it's you say something ugly to your brother when he comes in your room. Maybe you say something untrue about a friend and you tell it to another friend. Maybe you are just flat out disrespectful to your mom. Boys and girls, we've got to work on our self-control. We've got to keep our anger in check. All right. Hope you enjoyed that experiment. I've got something fun for us to do today. We're going to play a Bible trivia game together. So adults, I would love for you to play along with us. So I hope everybody got the paper and pencil that I mentioned earlier. Um, the questions are going to come on the screen. And you need to write down A, B, C, or D. And then hang on to your paper. I'll come back in a couple of minutes. Are you ready for some fun? Me too.
boys and girls, how did you do on the quiz? I want to see your answers. So have your parents send me your answers. Uh, you can text those to me, or you can email your answers to Angela at fbcparis.com. And I've got prizes for the top winners. Who likes snow cones? Me, I love snow cones. The top winners are going to win a family pack of snow cone gift certificates to Tropical Snow. So, send me your answers, please. Well, I've had so much fun with all of you this morning, and we are going to close now in prayer, so bow your head, please. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for our time together this morning. Thank you for the time we can spend studying your word and having a good time together. Please help us to remember to be careful with our words. Help us to have self-control in all situations. May our words be words of encouragement, not words that tear people down. In your name I pray, amen. All right, boys and girls, this week, I want you to remember to keep your tongue from getting you in trouble. Don't forget to send me your Bible trivia answers. And I look forward to seeing who the winners are. And next week, we will announce the answers to the Bible quiz. All right, have a great week, everyone. Bye. Bye.